In the 1920s, adult learning was just starting to take off and expand from the days of night classes at the YMCA in the 1800s. There were a few major innovations to adult learning around this time, one of those being the Workers' Educational Association being introduced into Canada, brought over from the UK. While Canada continued to develop universities, adult education was making learning more accessible to people in remote communities by having lectures, debates, and competitions. The University of Alberta used the radio for educational broadcasting in order to reach a wider range of people who could not attend the university sessions. Another major moment in the history of adult education in Canada is the Antigonish movement, which helped pave the path for Nova Scotia, the first province to add an adult education division to the Department of Education. Along with these domestic improvements happening with adult education internationally, Canada helped create organizations to improve adult education, the first being the International Congress of University Adult Education. Another major role Canada played with adult learning internationally is when Canadian Dr. James Robbins Kidd helped establish the International Council for Adult Education. Without all of these advancements in the field of adult learning, it would not be as successful and well-developed as it is. Adult education has come a long way and will continue to improve over the years.